it's 5 30 and i've already cried in two hair salons and had a nap this is a productive saturday hello i am ellen this is my youtube channel and i have not posted for a little bit and that's because sometimes life is busy and stressful which leads me to today's topic one thing that i like to do to feel on top of things is get my hair done now i'm not one for spending a lot of time and or money on grooming in general i own maybe three makeup items that i probably use one of 50 percent of the time and i don't get stuff waxed or I don't get spray tans or my nails and I mean even with my hair I generally cut it myself these days or just neglect to get it cut but I do like to get it the color that I naturally had as a five-year-old but no longer have naturally it's this color but this color makes me feel more me now as you can see this has probably been a while to tell you the story of today we should probably go back to when i first moved to london i would go to a particular salon that's got a few different locations around town around me and it's good expensive uh, as are most salons in london a bleach and toner job anywhere is generally pretty expensive but it is more expensive here than it was in Australia. So I went there a few times. Then more recently, someone in my local area um, did some freelance hair stuff after hours uh, from home. So I would go there instead, it's a bit cheaper. I could do it on a weeknight because I work pretty much until 6 p.m. so you can't really even if the salon's open until say nine, that's not really enough time to get it done on a weekday. So it would really, it would usually really take up like a whole weekend day. Or um, my friend down the road would do it say on an evening, go until midnight. But you know, it's good. However, this area is a bit notorious for lots of partying. I don't partake too much, so it did mean that my hairdresser friend look bless him he is a great soul however in this particular environment it so came to be that um like his house he's in a warehouse like i used to be in and it could get a bit rowdy there with just the other flatmates the most recent time if you're watching this i love you but he had forgotten about it because of a party the night before and my day that I'd planned to get this done. You know, I have a busy schedule these days, so I'd, you know, placed it aside weeks in advance, and he completely forgot about it and was unable to do it. Um, so from that standpoint, it wasn't suitable for me anymore. I don't have much time and I need to get stuff done when I wanna get it done. I work. Five days a week at the moment, try to fit in a life somewhere around that. Weekend, I'm usually exhausted. You've got, I've got one day to get stuff done and one day to sleep in and do nothing all day and then do it again. I did some Googling as well, wondering if there was another salon that maybe wasn't as expensive as that first salon or maybe just seemed like a bit nice, different, that worth paying the money for. So I found Salon 3, or Salon 2 if you say so, Salon 1, local hairdresser, Salon 2. But I couldn't really book anything online and they'd kind of have to like sort of, they want to see it in person before I could book it in because I was a new client and obviously you have to do like a skin test here for any dyes. You don't have to do it in Australia but here anywhere you go if you're getting like hair colour, they have to do like a patch test. They put some of the dye on your skin to make sure you don't have an allergic reaction. So you have to do that like over 48 hours before your appointment. Anyhow, I on a whim decided to go back to Salon 1. They had some time available and I called them up and they, I said I need to get my, 
my bleach done and regrowth is a bit longer than usual so probably may need some extra time and it's like cool that's booked in for you and so that was today today I go and they have me booked in for just toner which is a, I guess a lot less time and also even though I'd been to this salon before they tell me that they've changed products since the last time and this means that I should have been told that I need to do a new patch test because they need to check I'm not allergic to the new stuff before they can do it. So this particular day that I have put aside, I've given up my nothing day to probably spend most of the day in a hairdresser chair, got up early only to be told, no, we can't actually do this today. Do you want to do your patch test now so you can book it in for, I don't know, who knows when. So I started crying, demanded that they give, gave me my coat back, which they put on a coat rack, and ran out of the store, ran out of the salon. Called my partner while sobbing on the street. Not my finest moment. And it, I know it's just hair, but I think for me, I've been so, I've felt so busy lately that it's like the one nice thing that I do for myself and the one thing that I have to make time for to do in that sense. So while a lot of stuff is sort of like out of my control, this is one thing I can control or so, so you think, so I would think and, and then I can do it. So I think that's why it really affected me. So on a whim, I then get a bus to Salon 2, the one that I'd sort of looked at and I think I've composed myself. I go in there and I say, look, I want to just chat to somebody and get this booked in because obviously it's going to have to be like in a month's time or whatever. And they say, oh, well, usually you need to book in for a consultation and can I book you in for a consultation? So they want, they want to book me in for a later date so that I can go in to talk to them about my hair so that I can book in to have an appointment. So I burst out crying in that salon as well. Ran out. There's a seat outside so I just sat there trying to compose myself, just crying, um, trying to figure out what to do next. Sorry, my camera died. Just like my heart in the hair salons this morning. So anyway, I was crying outside the salon and the lady from inside came out to try and console me and I tried to explain that I knew it was just her but I'd just come from this other place and I just wanted to get it done. So she brought me back inside and got someone to look at, look at it. I mean, to be honest, that took two minutes so I don't really know why they needed me to come back for that. But... I will not be angry at Salon 2 because she was very lovely. She consoled a poor stressed out soul like myself and now I'm going to get my hair done in about a month's time. I mean, fingers crossed. Third time lucky because I've been trying to get this sorted for like four months or something since I tried to get the local person and then Salon 1 and now Salon 2. So. Fingers crossed. So that's where I've been. And that's what's up. Please subscribe if you want to know what is going to happen next. It's 2019. Aren't we all struggling? Uh.